guys, Michael here. So today I'd like to show you how to transfer some of your activities from your Garmin device or any device that is using Ant Plus communication to your tablet, okay? And that can be also applied to your phone as well once it has an Android uh, operating system. So first things first, what do you exactly need here is you need, of course, a Garmin watch or a device that is capable of transferring data through the Ant Plus service, okay? You also need the Garmin receiver or Ant Plus receiver. <clears throat> this usually comes together with the device uh, that you purchase. So usually this is plugged to the computer, but in this instance here we'll be plugging that to this cable, which is another piece of equipment that you need. So this is OTG cable, okay? From one side it has a USB socket, from the other it's a micro USB, okay? And you need your tablet or phone. So what we'll do first, and I will <clears throat> show you what kind of applications do you, do you need to download or install onto your a laptop just bear in mind one thing that your device so whether it's a phone with android operating system or a tablet needs to be rooted okay i won't be explaining that in this video but you can find it on the youtube uh, some other videos explaining this this process how to root your device okay so what we will do we will have to go to play store and we will have to download some of the applications that will allow for this communication to happen, okay? So it doesn't matter the order and the, there are three main applications. So there is Ant Plus plugin service, okay? Uh, let me just refresh that. Ant Plus plugin service, so I, I already installed that. Then there is also Ant Radio Service and Ant USB Service, okay? These three has to be installed. They will not show any icon on your device. So once you install them, there won't be any icon. These are just uh, pure services that will allow for the communication to happen, okay? And what you also need is an application that will allow you to upload or download all these activities from your device, okay? And there are different, there are many different uh, applications, okay? Uh, as you can see, there are a couple of them. Some of them are paid ones. Uh, unfortunately, there is no good free application that would do it okay uh, however i can recommend and the price is relatively cheap it's ant uploader okay uh, i believe the price is around two three dollars okay it's a very simple application and um, the good thing about this application is that you can download it on any of your um, Android devices so once you purchase it you can use it on different devices whereas some of the applications have a kind of a subscription that you can only use for one device okay mm, so in this case I will just open it for you and show you the way this application looks like okay so this is very simple interface these are all my previous activities okay Mm, and then you have like upload settings okay and this application doesn't mm, doesn't permit for uh, landscape mode so this is kind of a portrait mode the application itself is more for phones than for tablets but it works great on tablet you just have to twist the screen okay so all these three main applications for communication and this one application that will allow you to to download stuff okay so once you have all this downloaded like i said the order doesn't matter okay 
you just simply save some kind of activity there. So what I will do, I'll just click on start, three seconds, save the activity. And then I have two activities ready there for me. I did one before. So what you do is you just plug in your OTG cable with the Ant Plus receiver, okay? And you just open your application for receiving stuff, okay? We'll go back to the previous screen. And what you do, at least in this particular application, you just press download activities. Okay, and I will just try to close that, make that closer. So you can see it's requesting the link. The process isn't super fast, okay? So usually it takes around, I mean, these activities are quite small, okay? So that should be like one minute at most, I'd say. Um, however, if you have many activities um, and they are quite big, you can expect something between like five minutes um, up to 10 minutes. All right, so you can see downloaded two activities like I mentioned, and you can see the message finished. Okay, so it sends two activities from my Garmin to the tablet. And then we just simply close and we can go back to this landscape view okay and you can see those two activities that hasn't been sent or uploaded to any of the social media and you can see zero kilometers because i i didn't have a gps switched on and it's just a test really so what you do is you can go to upload config okay and you can configure your strava run keeper sports tracks garmin connect so it will basically kind of connect connect these services with Ant Uploader, okay? And once that's done, you can just simply select it. So let's say I want to send these two onto my Strava. I only have Strava configured and I click on Upload. And depending on your internet connection, that may take a couple of seconds or a minute or two minutes. Uh, again, depends on the file size or your activity length and also on the internet speed. Okay, and you can see a tick next to the Strava, which means that they are uploaded. Also, my Strava application is giving me a message that these runs are ready, so they were uploaded and I can adjust. The process is super simple, okay? If you have any questions or queries, Comment it down below. I'd be more than happy to answer these. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.